I want to start with Russia again. Um, it's actually very necessary to discuss Russia um, yet again. NBC News has released uh, just before the show. They released a article uh, stating that two U.S. officials, unnamed officials, obviously, um, have who have access to classified information have confirmed for them that Vladimir Putin directly directed the uh, cyber attack um, and the rollout, more precisely, the rollout of the information uh, as it was leaked uh, in, in, the, in the DNC hack. Uh, the article claims that, um, that Vladimir Putin has had a longstanding uh, vendetta against Hillary Clinton. And uh, as a result, uh, that was one of the reasons. The other reason uh, for the hack was because they wanted to delegitimize America um, the idea that America was a solid global force, uh, a global factor. <clears throat> so uh, just reading directly from uh, N NBC, it says two senior officials with direct access to the information say new intelligence shows that Putin directly, personally directed how hacked material from Democrats was leaked uh, and otherwise used. Uh, the article goes on to say the intelligence came from a diplomatic sources with and spies working for U.S. allies, uh, the official said. And I don't know if you could tell the tone in my voice. Uh, the tone in my voice is like, really? Um, what's a uh, Let me give you just two seconds behind the scenes here at the Benjamin Dixon Show. I sent this article over to um, uh, my colleague who works with me here in the studio, Research. Um, and his immediate reaction was, well, we're obviously not going to cover this story, right? And his reason for saying that was because it's an entire story that's put together on the back of two anonymous sources. And considering the, how high the stakes are in a conversation like this, why would we run with the story? Well, that's actually the story for me. The story for me is the fact that journalists and political shields are running with this narrative because they've gotten it from a quote-unquote reputable source NBC News right NBC couldn't possibly have any agenda other than getting confirmation of anonymous information that you know gets them great clicks but when the stakes are this high is it not reasonable to to assert that we need more than just anonymous sources and I'm not talking about just the stakes being high in this this issue of the election and people who are trying to keep Donald Trump from being seated as the president by January 20th. And that's an entirely different conversation. I'm talking about how cavalierly we are running into a potential conflict with Russia off of and and, and, and let me I don't want to miss I don't want you to misconstrue my words. Right. We are not talking about jumping from zero to 100 on an actual conflict because there's plenty of steps to go between this red baiting and an actual confrontation with Russia. But the story for me is the willingness with which people who have criticized Republicans for doing this exact same thing are now doing the exact same thing because it benefits their narrative. Like it, it is, it is a it's grossly irresponsible, grossly irresponsible to revel in this type of information without having any verifiable sources. I mean, an unnamed source is so unverifiable. And in, we're in a particular situation where this actually freaking matters. <laughs> it, it, it matters. Like if this was a story about, I don't know, shit. I, I mean, if this was a story about the DNC chair election. An unnamed source is not that pivotal. It's not that, it's not, you know, whatever they could say about that election is not going to be groundbreaking or earth shattering, right? But now we have two un unconfirmed or, or two anonymous sources who have said something to, and, 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 and here's the thing. We're at the point 
in, and maybe we should have always been at this point, but I'm not comfortable taking this information from secondhand, thirdhand sources, even if they work for the intelligence agencies. I'm not comfortable whatsoever. Especially with this type of information, right? We're talking about sources of a hack. We're talking about motivations behind the hack. You know, this is stuff that is pretty verifiable by some pretty standard practices in the, in the tech industry. Like, we can, we can verify this information, but not a single piece of information has been, or a single piece of evidence has been, and not even a person willing to put their name by it. Right. It's, it's, an, it's one thing for them not to put p information in the public for us to vet it for ourselves, which when we're talking about something with the stakes being this high is not unreasonable whatsoever. But we're talking about people who won't even put their name behind what they've said. This is like the fucking telephone game in elementary school. Right. This could be this could be <laughs> any number of. Can we just verify before we go headlong into being willing to have a confrontation with Russia? Or here's the flip side of it. I don't think people are really using this because they're like, OK, hey, let's put Russia in its place. They're not going to go that far. They're just using this to the extent that they could say, hey, let's keep uh, Vladimir <laughs> Trump. Let's keep Donald Trump from becoming the president of the United States. Okay, you want to play that game? That's fine. Now, who are you going to put in? Who are you going to put in? We discussed this last night. If if you're going to use this, if you're not using this information as a means to actually get into a confrontation with Russia or to have some type of reciprocity or some type type of uh, of, of of reaction, if we're not going to do something to Russia to stop them then why are you pounding these drums about Russia? Well, because you just want to use it to stop Donald Trump from becoming the president of the United States. My question for that audience is, do you really think they're going to put Hillary Clinton in? And are you that deranged? And I, I'm sorry, I just have to go straight to, are you that deranged with Hillary losing that you're willing to tear the country apart in order to put Hillary Clinton in? Because, you know, the reason I phrase it like that is because you can sure as hell bet that if we don't put in Trump, they're not going to put in Hillary Clinton. So what's the purpose and the motivation behind this? Because if the motivation is just to create this, this red scare environment, then this is so beyond irresponsible that, that journalists sharing this outside of the context of ridicule and scorn should be ashamed of themselves and lose their licenses, which don't exist, right? There's no license to be a journalist. <clears throat> but otherwise, are you doing this just to keep Trump from becoming president? I mean, if we're going to put in, and I, and I saw this, there's a tweet from our, our new episode from uh, Keith Olbermann about uh, resist, right? And he's saying, you know, wouldn't you rather have a president? Because he knows they're not going to put Hillary Clinton in. He says, wouldn't you rather have a president, uh, Mitt Romney, or a president, Evan McMullen, uh, the CIA uh, conservative from Utah? And my response to that is the same as my response yesterday. They're going to do the same damn things. They're just going to do it more politely. So, Putin, the blame on Russia. <laughs> That's all we've been doing since the election, and it's getting to the point where people are willing to speculate with unconfirmed sources, with conversations that are, at a minimum, very, too dangerous to be speculating without some confirmation some vetting of the information i and i don't think any anyone who is not asking for that basic standard is either just a neanderthal who doesn't need to be in the conversation or a person with a political agenda that's more important than to them than the dangers of this type of conversation without and, and now let's go let's go to this other side of the equation right so let's say russia did it and let's say Russia and Vladimir Putin actually did this expressly to undermine Hillary Clinton. Right. And we can confirm it. And we can see this is this is this is I, I have a pretty high standard 
because if we prove something and it's verifiable and it's verifiable by more than just our personal intelligence agencies because I've got a problem with them, then we should do something. We, we, we should not stand by and just let this happen. But do you realize that next conversation is so precarious that it's best for us to verify the information before we even go down that road? Like, can we, it's like, if I'm gonna bitch slap somebody, I wanna make sure I'm slapping them on good information. I don't wanna set something off on bad information. It's just make common sense. Verify before you act.